if we come into proof of extraterrestrial life, everything that we thought we knew is called into question. Oh, no! Bad dog! Bo, get the rack. Do you want a selfie? Oh, Jesus, here we go. Wait, who came into your room? The shadow people. They tried to take buttons. That's why everyone likes filming spooky things with VHS cameras. <laughs> I love horror anthologies. And I'm not just saying that because we are knee deep in spooky season. No, I believe the horror genre specifically fits the mold of an anthology the best. Whether that's in a TV series format like The Twilight Zone, Tales from the Crypt, Are You Afraid of the Dark, or in a movie format like Creep Show or Trick or Treat. Horror just seems to work really well in a short story format. Which is why when I heard another VHS film was coming out, I was super excited. And not because my options for films last weekend were either this absolute travesty. What? Joker 2 was bad? Who could have seen that coming? It's not like someone made a video about it months ago. Oh, it's a mystery, I don't know. And my other option being Mel Gibson's Monster Summer that I didn't have access to, which is crazy because I live in an area where I have access to every movie that premieres, even extremely obscure or foreign films, but I didn't have access to this film. Odd. Is it being suppressed for some reason? Maybe because it's a Mel Gibson movie? I don't know. It was just really weird that I could not go and see this movie anywhere near me. Oh well. Anyways, luckily for me, VHS Beyond was also released last weekend. And if you don't know, VHS is a series of horror anthology films based upon the idea of found footage. You know, the idea of finding someone's home movies on a VHS tape that has some questionable things on it. And there are a lot of VHS films out there, and everyone has their favorite. Mine's VHS 94, obviously. However, they're all kind of hit or miss, but that's what makes anthologies so fun. Because with a collection of five to six short stories, you're bound to have some good stories and some bad stories. At least in my experience, even the VHS's bad stories have all had some goofy, schlocky, fun tone to them. Which makes the viewer experience, well, fun. And VHS Beyond is no different. So the theme for this VHS anthology is Cosmic Extraterrestrial Horror. Beyond, you get it? Which I was a little worried about because cosmic horror can be uh, a little hit and miss. However, I would say that there is more good than bad here. And even the bad still has some fun stuff to offer. Now, since this is an anthology, I don't think my usual metric for reviewing will really work here. So, I'll be breaking it down like this. VHS Beyond has six stories. Two of them are bad, narratively, but are funny or have cool visuals. Two of them are just good. You know, simple concept, pretty okay execution, fun, and a good time all around. One was almost a 10 out of 10, if it wasn't for some terrible CGI scenes. Still a really cool concept though. And one was a 10 out of 10 banger, super scary, 
extremely well done, and it introduces a horror concept that I have never seen before. It's really good. So now I'm gonna do a kind of speed run through each story, giving away as little as possible. Still, if you would like to watch VHS Beyond spoiler free, this is where we part ways. Thanks for showing up, and I want you to have a great day. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go worst to best here, starting with Dream Girl which follows a paparazzi team as they try to get shots of the biggest new star in the industry. And they end up getting some really good stuff. This one, narratively, is the worst. Nothing makes sense from the world building to the way the characters interact with each other. It's just a big mess. But it does have some of the coolest visuals in the entire film. And they also have a dance number. See? I told you this one had the best visuals. I'm not drooling, you are. Fur babies. Follows some animal rights activists that attempt to infiltrate and expose a dog sitter for animal abuse. Only to find so much more. <laughs> this one, narratively, also doesn't make any sense but it is the funniest story in the movie. And if you're into puppy play, hey, it's got some pretty fun stuff in there for ya. Abduction, adduction. Every VHS film has a story that starts and ends the film, with parts being played in between each short story. And in VHS Beyond, this story is Abduction, Adduction, which is a documentary about a disappearance where two tapes were found that documented an encounter. And it takes the form of a kind of YouTube documentary. It even has some cameos by real YouTubers. Oh. So throughout the whole movie, they are constantly teasing you about what's on these tapes and how crazy it is. Which is all fine narratively, it's just for me personally, the payoff was not worth the hype. Because the entire film ends with us finally getting to watch the tapes, which is really cool and I liked it, it was just super short. For the amount of build up they set up for this tape, uh, there needed to be more. It's still pretty cool though. Stork. This one follows a group of officers who specialize in monster hunting. Yep, nothing really groundbreaking narrative-wise, but just filmed in the funnest way possible. Because the perspective is from the body cams and a rookie who is documenting the case. It's so over the top and fun, which is why I think they start off the movie with this story. The only bad thing about this one is the acting. It is so bad. The worst of all the stories by far. But somehow, I don't know, it kind of adds to the fun of it all in a weird way. All in all, super fun, good times all around. Live and let dive. This is the one that made me mad because it was so close to perfection. Live and Let Dive follows a group of skydivers that have a close encounter with a UFO. A real close encounter. And the story follows a guy as he tries to survive. It's such a cool idea with lots of really great scenes. And then they go and ruin the ride with horrible CGI scenes, two of them. And the worst part is those scenes didn't need to exist. I know this because out of frustration, I went and cut them out and the story still works. And it's a million times better because the ending is still great. I just don't know why they put these two horrible CGI scenes in there. Why? Still, a really cool concept and well done overall. Stowaway. 
This is the 10 out of 10 banger story that, no surprise, is the final story in the film. Stowaway follows an amateur reporter following a story of UFO lights seen in an area. And that's all I'm gonna say about it. No spoilers, because this is the only story in VHS Beyond that is actually scary. And like I said earlier, it introduces a horror concept that I don't think has ever been done before. Not only is this concept visually interesting and entertaining to watch, but when you stop and think about it for a minute, it's truly horrifying. I've been thinking about it for days. Great stuff definitely was the story to end the movie with. And that's VHS Beyond. Overall, I had a good time. Does it have the most scariest stories in it? No. Did I have a blast watching it with my friends? Absolutely. I think this movie is just what the doctor ordered for this spooky season. And thank you for coming out at the beginning of October. You know, there's a horror movie coming out that I want to see, uh, Nosferatu, but it comes out on Christmas. Why? What are you thinking? Put that shit out in October, you dumbs. So, thank you, VHS Beyond, for releasing in the correct season. If you're subscribed to Shudder or any of these guys, I highly recommend you give VHS Beyond a watch. I can't guarantee you'll be scared by it, but you'll probably have a good time. So, there it is. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you, and I'll catch you at the next one.